excitement level your first game for Boise State tomorrow night? Man, I can't wait. I can't wait. We've been all season is so long, uh, and we've been preparing for six months, seven months, whatever it is, and just can't wait to play in front of fans for the first time. Um, so yeah, we're super excited. Talk so much about just the culture here and the facilities and the, you mentioned the fans and the arena, just getting that taste for the last couple months, but as you said, now just really kicking this thing off tomorrow. What is the feeling like? And how grateful are you, I guess, to be here? Yeah, I'm super grateful. Um, I couldn't have chosen a better program. I, I truly mean this. Um, and couldn't have chosen a better fan base. Like, I can't wait to finally play in front of fans. Uh, sold out, which is amazing. Uh, Non-conference game, so just super excited and can't can't wait to uh, to start off the season. Alvaro, uh, com coming from a program that you know, typically didn't win a ton of games to a program that has won a lot of mm -hmm. games, as you tried to fit in with Omar Stanley and Tyson Day and our guys that have been here for a while, like what did you feel like you had to do immediately, to, like maybe earn respect or whatever, or, or just fit in? Yeah, well, I think from from the very first moment, like they've allowed me to be myself. Um, they played against me multiple times, so they knew the type of player that I was. So I'm so grateful for those guys to just let me, you know, uh, do my leadership role and just be who I am. Um, and, you know, my focus is just come in here and try to make their life a little bit easier. And at the same time, the coach has been encouraging to just be myself and, and play the way the way that I know because I'm just a generous guy who's going to get them the ball, so they'll probably like playing with me. Again, some, somebody described me as like you're not really a guy that was like, immediately worried about making friends, but, but meant like you were, you were eager to hold people accountable and stuff like yeah. that. Is, why is that part of the way that you feel like it's important to lead, I guess? Yeah, well, I mean, leading isn't always easy, and, and there's times where you got to say things that people don't want to hear, um, and I feel like I've always done that, like, um, the same way that people are going to hold me accountable. I feel like I've always just told people what I, what I thought, um, and sometimes they might not like to hear it, and and, but it's all coming from a good place, you know, like I'm trying to get them better and get the team better. So that's kind of the how I, how I look at it. Obviously, you know, there's some familiarity with this program, but, mm -hmm. you know, when you can, when you since you've come in here, what's the biggest thing that surprised you about what you've learned about this program or this fan base? Yeah, well, I mean, from the very first moment, like the support from from the community and the fans has been incredible. Um, that's something that definitely uh, caught my attention. And then um, just the culture here. Um, the level of expectation is definitely different from what I was used to in San Jose. Um, and, and, you know, just being surrounded by people that really want it or that are dedicated to, uh, to being great. And we all have the same common goals in mind. So we're just super excited for that. What, what, uh, what do you think you most are going to bring to this team? Um, I think leadership is a big thing. Um, and obviously my point guard skills, like I'm a playmaker. I want to get other people involved, trying to make Omar's and, and Tyson's life a little bit easier. Uh, get the shooter some open shots and uh, but I can also I feel like I can score pretty well too so whenever the team needs a bucket I can get that um, and one thing one aspect of my game that I feel like people haven't been able to see as much as my defense um, I'm going to pick up full court and I'm going to make the other uh, guards life as hard as I can um, and just kind of bring my motor and just play as hard as I can the whole 40 minutes. And what's the reverse of that question like everybody's expecting you to help this team obviously but how is this team going to help you yeah. answer your game well man i've been so grateful to the coaches because i feel that they're putting me in positions to be successful um they're running actions for me to have an advantage prior to the pick and roll and stuff like that uh so i'm super grateful for that and also just being able to play with guys like tyson and omar i can throw some passes that i wasn't able to throw in the past you know what i mean and just being able to play with those type of guys just makes my life so much easier. You know, we've got about 15 games or so to go before conference, but do you think there's an advantage to playing with a team in the league? You know the league as opposed to if you transfer to somebody in another league? Yeah, I mean, I'm very familiar with the league, obviously, so it's going to be – it's not like i got to get adjusted to that. i got to get adjusted to the team, but not the league because I'm obviously familiar with it. So it's definitely an advantage, but, I mean, at the same time, the league has changed so much this past year with the transfer portal. Nevada lost the two best players. Uh, New Mexico lost their three best players, right? So um, league has changed a lot. So every year is a new challenge. You mentioned the expectations. Just this program and not you know, getting to the tournament fourth straight year is probably not good enough for some of these guys wanting to make history and make a run in the tournament. How, how different is that for you? And in your one year here, how much are you embracing a, a, a situation where that's a realistic goal to, to make a run in March. Yeah, I mean, this is why I came here. Like, I didn't want my last year to be a iffy year where I don't know what's going to happen and we're going to be at the middle of the table or going to be last. This is, this is not to say anything bad about San Jose, but that's just the reality of it. Um, so I'm super excited. to. We really have a chance to make history. That's the, the reality of it. So 
just super excited. I think we have the team to do it. The people are committed to the work. Um, so, I mean, I, I can't wait, but we got to take a step at a time. You know what I mean? We can't just get too caught up in, in thinking about the future, just each game is what's most important. And you what? feel like, not, not to say that you know, it was different there, but just coming to the gym mm -hmm. as part of a team that literally does want to make a run in March and have those expectations, is that, I mean, are we going to see the, the best year of your career here? I mean, you, how much is this going to, this whole thing just going to help you thrive, kind of like Johnny said? Yeah, I truly believe, like, I'm going to have the best year of my career just because of the environment that I'm in, the, the way the coaches support me and, you know, let me be myself and play my game. And like I said, showcase some of the things that I wasn't able to showcase in the past. Um, but like I said, I mean, I truly don't care if my stats go down or whatever. As long as we're winning, I, I impact winning, I can help my, my teammates. That's all, I'm, that's all I care about right now. What type of a test is Oakland tomorrow? Obviously, you know, not the same team, but they, you know, still went to won an NCAA tournament game last year and mm -hmm. upset Kentucky. Yeah, we played, I played Oakland two years ago. They've been running this zone for the past five, six years. Um, so they're a kind of complicated team to play against because it's something that you don't see very often. Um, but I mean, we just got to stick to what we do, play hard defense, get out in transition, um, and then the rest will take care of itself. There was a guy here last year, had a lot of intangibles to his game. Uh, his dad is currently the head coach here. I think you played against him at some point. I remember. Time. <laughs> have you have you and Max? Have you, have you talked with Max at all ever since he transferred yeah, here? Yeah, yeah, he's he's been around a little bit. He just got back from Denmark, so we've been able to top it up. And you know, our our beef is in the past now. <laughs> We're cool with each other, so I, so that's good. You know, th that really was like kind of a part of his game, though. Like mm -hmm. Max, like I said, whether it be literally metaphorically, whatever the heck it was, like he'd run up in there if he had to, mm -hmm. and. I don't know if it's true or not, but Leon joked after you guys got into that scuffle, like, man, we need a guy like that next year. Did he ever tell you anything like that? Yeah, or? yeah, most definitely. I mean, first of all, in the first game in San Jose, we almost got into it already. Because he threw a little elbow after a play. I didn't like that. Uh, and then it's funny because the first thing he – I didn't expect Boise to recruit me at all. You know what I mean? It's, I'm, I feel like I'm a different type of player that they had in the past. They, since I've been here, they didn't have, like, a playmaking point guard. Like, Marcus was more of a scoring guard. Mm -hmm and like very athletic guys, you know what I mean? And that's not who I am. Um, so I was a little bit surprised. Um, but yeah, the first thing he told me was like, you know, when you got into that fight with Mags, that's, that's when I knew I wanted to get you. And I feel like that's something that I bring to the table that maybe was, was gonna be missing when Max left. Um, you know, that just tenacity and intensity for the game. And um, I'm not saying I'm gonna try to get into fights in the game, but if it happens, you know it happened. So. You know, you said Boise State recruited you, but yeah. why did you choose here? Was there any other options? I guess, like, what was that thought process for you to end up here? Yeah, it was a tough process. Like, I really didn't know what to do. Um, but Boise just showed the most commitment. Um, they were, I mean, I've, I've talked about this multiple times with BJ and people that have asked me. Mm -hmm. Coach Burns was literally, a day after they lost in the tournament, he was in San Jose having lunch with me. And to me, that showed, like, okay, like, these guys are really serious about it. Um, the way the visit went, all the details, um, and just, I had to trust them because uh, the way they played maybe didn't fit me the best, and I had to trust that what they were saying was true, and I did, and I mean, it's been best blessing ever because they really, all they said in the recruiting process has been true, and it's lived up to the expectations even more, so. Do you, do, feel, do you like feel like, you, like you've, you've adjusted your play, Boise State has adjusted the player, it's been kind of a combination of both to make that fit. Yeah, it's been a combination of both. Obviously, I think what this coaching staff is great about is that they adjust to the players that they have. Um, and, you know, having a guy like me that I feel like I thrive in transition and being able to play make and play out of the pick and roll, maybe it was something that they didn't have before. Uh, so definitely a big emphasis this year is getting out in transition, being able to run, score in the first seven seconds of the possession, um, run a little bit more pick and roll and getting these guys open looks. And just, you know, having guys like Tyson, who's going to play the three a little bit more this year, Obviously, it's going to change because he has so much more that he hasn't been he hasn't shown, um, and I've been so surprised about it because I played against him. He's a phenomenal player, but he's even like, way better than I thought, which is like awesome. The same with Omar. I was gonna, I was gonna ask you about that. Like, mm -hmm. he really played like a selfless role his first few years here, playing kind of out of position, if you will. I mean, he can do yeah. Jobs, yeah, yeah. But it really seems like the way the team's built, he's gonna be able to play the three way more this year. How, how much does that? Yeah, well, I had a conversation with him at the beginning of the of the summer. Um, he wasn't being as aggressive as I thought he should have been. And I'm like, man, like, we're, we're here around you. Like, you're the main piece of this team. You know what I mean? Like, you do your thing. And, and I feel like for, you know, in the past two months, he's taken over practice multiple times. And he's going to be able to showcase a part of his game that people haven't seen before. He's a much better shooter than he has shown. 
Um, like this guy does not miss when he's shooting by himself. Like you guys should see it. It's, it's ridiculous. And then some, some way, somehow, he's not the fastest guy. But when he's driving from, from you know, the outside the three-point line, you can't stop him. Like it's ridiculous. Um, so I don't know. It's just, it's just been amazing to be able to play with him. And at the same time, it's not like he's forcing shots or like, you know, trying to score dirty. It's just the, the game comes natural to him. He doesn't force it. He doesn't miss at the rim. So it's just a blessing to play with him.